Watch the phone. Right up here, Romeo. There he is. You can welcome Romeo to stage as well. Starlight to see by. However, if he cannot find his prey by sight, he can still locate it with almost 100% accuracy. That is with his incredible hearing. There's a dark outline around the edge of his face. It's known as a facial disc, and it's made of sound sensitive feathers that help to funnel sound into huge ear openings on the side of his head. His hearing is so powerful, he can find that same mouse under two feet of grass or snow and catch it without ever seeing it. They have another trait. The ability to sneak up on their prey. So listen as he flaps his wings and ignore his silly voice. Let's see what you hear. All right, Romeo, are you ready? Ask Kathy. Fly to Kathy. You fly to Kathy for me? Okay. So he says, man, to anyone else. Oh my god, she supersized it. There we go. What do you hear? Nothing. I heard half the audience say, Woo! But you right. shouldn't hear anything at all. Owls are capable of almost perfectly silent flight. And it's because the edge of their feathers are very soft. So when an owl flaps his wings, there are no loud flapping noises. Or when feathers rub together, you don't hear rubbing or friction sounds. Have you ever heard things like pigeons and doves take off? See, all that funny noise is from their feathers rubbing or bumping together. They couldn't sneak up on much. Being able to fly quietly allows an owl to sneak up on a wide variety of prey. But more importantly, they can listen to their prey as they're flapping their wings. All right, Romeo, back up here to stage, buddy. Back to stage. Well, would you do it for... <laughs> so let me ask you though, what do you think of Romeo? Isn't he impressive? And now we do need to send Romeo home. This bird has about a four foot wingspan. We're asking him to fly to a door that's about two feet wide. So sometimes it takes a bit of coaxing. So we give it a try. So hey, Romeo, that way. Romeo, go home! Please? Oh, there we go. All the way! 